My name is Jermaine Scott and I'm going to be doing my presentation on sidechain compression. Uh, what is sidechain compression? Basically, sidechain takes one sound and uses it to manipulate another sound. Most often you'll see it on compressors, gates, limiters and expanders, however it can also be found on vocoders, synthesizers and other effects. It's really a useful feature on compressors and gates because you can place multiple instruments in the same frequency range without them clashing. More to the point, it can make your mix sound generally a lot better. This presentation is going to talk about ducking and using sidechain compression. Uh, ducking is a technique used by a lot of house producers to get a characteristic, characteristic pumping sound. Here is a popular house song that makes heavy use of ducking and I'll also play one of my own examples. If you listen to the horns in the Daft Punk sample, notice how they become quiet when the kick drum plays, and that's what's called ducking. Uh, the volume of the horns is ducked to make room for the kick drum to come through. Um, if you get any house ha records from like the last eight years, almost all of them use sidechain. So what does the side comp chain compressor actually do? It uses one of your audio tracks to control the volume of another audio track. To get the ducking sound, it will lower the volume of your audio track when the other one gets louder. The only difference between sidechain compression and ordinary compression is that at any one moment in time the sidechain compression is driven by an external signal volume and applied to a target sound rather than the volume of the original being the target sound. Um, it can be used for a lot of other things as well, it's not just for getting your mix right and making the pumping sound. Um, it can be used basically anywhere you need to lower the um, volume or something. Our bass volume and kick drum hits to remove the clash and frequencies. Often they can pile up on top of each other and get a really nasty muddy sound. If you use sidechain, it actually helps quite a lot. Um, it's used for DJs, they lower their music automatically lowers when they speak. That's a basic side that's used for sidechain. Um, for instance, the DJ's microphone signal is converted to a line level signal and routed to a stereo compressor's sidechain input. Um, the music level is routed through the stereo compressor as well, so whenever the DJ speaks, it brings down the volume of the, um, the music underneath. And um, that's also basically ducking as well. Uh, sidechaining opens all sorts of possibilities. Yeah, um, you can heavily you can EQ the signal, so, only when a selected frequency is appear in the control signal, the compressor kicks in. Um, so a compressor like this can be used as a de essentially, really. Um, reducing the level of annoying vocal signals in the range of 6 to 9 kHz, it can be done by using a standard compressor and equalizer by feeding a 6 to 9 kHz boosted copy of the original signal into the sidechain input of the compressor. So every time that comes in, those um, frequencies come in and turn down, basically. Um, another approach to sidechain compression, widely used in house music, is um, referred to as push and pull effect. Basically, it's the same technique as bass ducking, apart from the kick drum, is being used to duck out various other elements in the mix instead of just um, your bass, basically. Um, it can be used for pads, synths, and vocals. 
It creates a pumping effect as well, and it's also used side by side with, with the bass tucking. Um, I'll briefly show you how to set, basically do how to set up side chain compression um, in Logic. It's basically it's quite simple to do. First off, you want to get a nice kick. Obviously, you see, get the 4 4 kick in your house music. Um, you set one of those up, pretty simple. And you're going to use that to um, trigger the side chain, really, to pull down um, your synth or your bass line. Um, you want to open a bus on your kick drum and just set that to zero on, basically. Um, on the bus, you want to set up the Um, you want to bring the attack down quite a lot, like a pens, but I like to have quite low to get the proper pumping effect. Turn the ratio up to about 4 or 5 to 1, I'll normally go 4, 8 to 1 really. Keep the knee at the same. Um, and bring the threshold down quite a lot, depending on how much obviously you want to turn down. On your actual bass line, you want to also insert a compressor and do the same for that really. You want to bring the attack and that down so it's, you get a proper pumping sound. You'd also turn that to about 4 or 5 to 1, quite high. And then you want to change, this is the main bit, the side chain. You use the bus of this to um, trigger it basically. So every time the kick drum plays, it's going to turn down the volume of the bass line. And the more you put it down, it's turning the gain up a bit as well. Bring it back up. Make it proper. That's all nicely. The more you pull down that, obviously the more it's going to turn it down. Change notes throughout and stuff, you get a nice housey feel. It can sound quite nice depending on what you like, really. And um, yeah, that's how to do side chain compression, really. Um, yeah, that's basically it.